First of all, I'd like to remind everybody that you have three minutes to speak, and um, there's a 30-minute time limit unless we extend it. It will, it will be up to the mayor and council to extend that time if we go over 30 minutes. Please um, keep your comments. Um, as you're speaking, please no um, clapping or making comments in the audience. Also remember that this is public comment time. The mayor and council do not have dialogue with you. Um, it, they listen to what you say and then they can comment if they would like after the public comment time. But during this portion, they are listening and you are doing the public comment. Thank you. Uh, Susan, at this time, how many do we have for this? Um, I have 15. I have some that do not wish to speak. I could name them also, but I have 15 that do want to speak. The 15 and times 3 would be at 45 instead of the 30. If you guys are willing at this point, we, I mean, we might as well go an extra 12 <laughs> minutes. That would usually we you know be fine if we had to have that extra three well, weeks some people might not take the whole three yeah so. exactly yeah. Right. Anyway, wait and see how it goes okay sounds good we'll wait we'll wait to see if we extend also it, um these people have um names that are hard to announce so please watch your name on the um monitor and be ready to come up and speak and help us all out as your name comes forward thank you and uh, you did forget to mention that everyone should uh, state your name and your address. Yes, please, because we will list your name in the minutes. Thank you. Okay. Tomoko. <laughs> Say your name, please. <laughs> Tomoko Oyama. Yes, go ahead. My name is Tomoko Oyama from the Japanese Consulate. I am here to express the stance of the government of Japan that its city council of Brookhaven should take a pause to reconsider the installation of the Comfort Women Statue because the Comfort Women Statue involves a very sensitive issue between Japan and the Republic of Korea. Few believe that this statue is not aimed at Japan and only intends to promote a totally different issue and the statue will cause disunity and even confrontation among the local communities in Brookhaven and beyond, which is in the interest of no one. Recognizing the comfort women issue is one in which the honor and the dignity of many women were at stake. Successive Japanese administrations, including the current one, have expressed sincere apologies and remorse for the for former comfort women. Although the issues of claims of people in the Republic of Korea were legally settled in 1965, the Japanese government has taken various measures from a moral standpoint. Most recent one is an agreement between the two countries over this issue in 2015, which confirmed that the issue is resolved finally and irreversibly. Based on the agreement, the Japanese government provided 1 billion yen to the foundation established in Seoul. This agreement has been welcomed by the international community, including the federal government of the United States. And about 70% of former comfort women who were alive at the agreement have received the support. Japan believes that the agreement should be implemented faithfully for the sake of the former comfort women. At the same time, the government of Japan has maintained that misconception about the comfort women issue is widely held. The full-scale fact-finding study by the Japanese government in the 1990s did not find any historical documents that showed hundreds and thousands of women were forced into sexual slavery. All phrases which are used in the city council resolution of May 23rd. We are puzzled that the Council approved the resolution without giving any prior occasion to express views of the residents and the Jap local Japanese community, and that the city, for unknown reasons, planned to rush to unveiling of the statue in the Blackburn Park to tomorrow. Let us be reminded that the City Council resolution of May 23rd does not mention either the place or the date of the installation of the statue. Thank you. Thank you. Tony Morano, please, please do not clap. Thank you.
My name is uh, Tony Morano. I come from Dallas County, Texas. My accent doesn't reflect it, but that's where I come from. At the last city council meeting, two gentlemen spoke in favor of the Comfort Women statue to be unveiled tomorrow. They both stated the statue does not represent Japan bashing. I believe their sincerity. I am here today to state that the statue is a form of Japan bashing as perceived by the victims of this bashing, the people and nation of Nihon, Japan. Please allow me to clarify how I can make such a statement by explaining my association with Japan. During the past seven years, I have traveled from Okinawa to Hokkaido, speaking at numerous conferences. During this time, I have authored seven books published in Japan. I also write a weekly column for the Japanese nationwide newspaper for the past three years. During my travels and talks, I met with Japanese covering all the demographics, basically a cross-section of the Japanese people. I can honestly state to a person, they all perceive Comfort Women Statue Memorials as pure form of Japan bashing. They feel the placement of these items dishonored the nation and people of Japan. This proposed Comfort Women Statue only memorializes Comfort Women servicing the Japanese military, while at the same time ignoring women pressed into the service as Comfort Women by the South Korean military for the United States military for about a 40-year period. In addition, it ignores the Vietnamese women that were forced to be comfort women by South Korean troops during the Vietnam War. In addition, you are inserting yourself in the middle of an international dispute between Japan and South Korea. The placement of the statue illustrates this city's support of one nation over another nation in this dispute. Is this the message that you want to broadcast? I am not stating that you should not allow the statue. Just requesting the statue inscription, you include the two ignored comfort women groups from Vietnam and South Korea. Or perhaps instead of mentioning Japan, South Korea, and Vietnam, only do not mention any nation, just memorialize all women who served as comfort women in the 20th century. If this was going to be added in the park in the community I live in, I would be furious that they would be dragging my community into this international dispute. I would demand that the city council remove the offending artwork, but since I am not a member of this community, I can only hope that the good folks see the damage that this is doing. By doing so, you would demonstrate to the nation and people of Japan your concern for all women who served as comfort women in the Asian theater during that century. It would also demonstrate Oh. It would also demonstrate the sincerity of the two people who spoke at the city council meeting stating that this was not Japan bashing. Thank you for your time and consideration. Thank you. Could y'all please plan to come up before the, or just right before the other one finishes? That way we'll have, the time will work better. Thank you. My name is Yoshi Brandt. Address is 330 West Berwick Common, Atlanta, Georgia. Thank you. My name is Yoshi Brandt, and I've been living near Windsor Parkway and Peachtree Peach the last 26 years. I'm technically not a resident of Brookhaven, but I have sent my two sons to a school in Brookhaven for 10 years, so I consider Brookhaven as my neighborhood. I am Japanese native, but I don't consider myself as a biased person against the uh, Korean community. In fact, I was a host mother of a Korean student one time, and I still keep a keen relationship with him. And I also have a great sympathy toward the sad incident happened during the war. There is no way for me to exactly find out what happened during the war, but still, from circumstantial, uh, narrations will make me believe there are lots of sad and uh, hardships that people had to go through. That being said, I still want to strongly oppose the installation of this Comfort Women statue. There are about 50, 50 of these statues in Korea and outside of the Korea. And from what I have seen, it's clear that these statues are used to support an anti-Japanese political movement. I don't think this statue is an uh, art uh, to promote um, genuinely awareness of uh, human trafficking, but rather a statue to contribute hatred toward a certain specific nationality, the Jap Japanese. We have been living in this um, American society 
uh, whose value lies in a uh, diversified culture. And as Asian American, I do not want our community to be divided and deliver the prejudiced messages to be an obstacle to living a peace. And it has been over 70 years since the end of the war. And how many years and how many um, generations have to dispute over this something that we had no control over? And I do not want to put our children and our gra grandchildren in a spot to be blamed for they had nothing to do with it. And as a mother, I'm afraid that this kind of statue can bring a bullying toward Japanese American children. And if you teach to hate someone at home, it's parents' responsibility. And if it, it, it is allowed to teach to hate someone in a city park, it's city's responsibility. These issues should be resolved between nations. America is a third country, and Japanese Americans don't have to be put into this dispute. So I hope the city of Brookhaven will not contribute to bring that kind of suffering to those who are not responsible. Thank you. My name is Atsuto Tsuchihashi. Uh, today I'm here because I should stand up for the ego, the inspiration of comfort women. I would not talk about controversial academic history incidents or complicated diplomatic details here. I'm here as a human and a resident in a book heaven. Now I live in a book heaven. I was born and raised in Japan. I happen to be born in Japan. I could not choose to be a Japanese. All the people cannot. It is God's decision. I am identified as Japanese by the law. However, you guys blame us with the statue. Young people that have never been in that hard time at World War II. Have you ever thought about the people who have to have uh, difficulties because of their history? If so, why do we need this statue in a book heaven? In the USA. We are in the US. Is there anything benefit from this to the US? The answer is no. If we are this inspiration, how many opportunities we lose? Too many to count. Children and teens without historic knowledge would have prejudice. The recent and business and the statue would pay for the maintenance for this, not the government, because the government actually take tax from us. You just do jogging or you, your children just can't play tennis to the Brook Heavens Park, but always the statue reminds you guys of the sad stuff and the sixth crime of World War II, Vietnam War and Korean War. We are good friends. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe expressed the greatest friendship ever between Japan and USA. And we have agreement with Korea too. Let's share the value of life, democracy, freedom, and justice. We need to build a brilliant future for young people who have opportunities. Does this inspiration work for our goal? I do not think so. We need to make the Earth, the U.S., Georgia, work Kevin right. Let's be friends and talk about the future. Please consider that. Good evening. I'm living in Duluth 35 years. Uh, your, uh, please state your name real quick. Oh, my name is Shizuko Cole Pepper. And your address? It's 3717 Kuriabruk Court, Duluth, Georgia. Uh, my husband has come from Columbia, Columbus, Georgia. It's way south. Um, thank, thank you for giving me this opportunity to express my opinion as a Japanese woman and a housewife and mother. 
I left Japan 1982 to get married, an American guy. And ever since I'm living here forever. Um, first time, unfortunately, I heard that so-called comfort woman statue is installed in the blue cabin on May 23rd from reported newspapers in the internet. Blue Cabin City is a not private organization. The city is American public organization. The bill should publicize well before bringing city assembly. This comfort woman statue activity had a few months before private organization the Center of Civil and Human Rights. After their independent investigation, they reached not install. The issue is not subject human rights. This is a purely political discount Japan action. According to the article of a reporter newspaper, I'm reading all the time, Back in May 18, the legends Mr. Sapir noticed city parks employee building a concrete slab for the memorial in the middle of the public park. The date was well before the city council decided to install. When Mr. Sapir, uh, Sapir asked what was being placed there, the employee told them it was secret. It is a way we found we are not only one who left off from this decision-making process. The Brookhaven citizens are also left off from their own city resolution process. The city organization is, should be served to their citizens and their mission is for citizens happiness thank you very much T time is up okay thank you thank you Bobby Mai um, Garson, uh, 600 Garson Street uh, Atlanta my name is Bobby Mai I am a minister of happy science religious organization in Atlanta um, the comfort woman statue issue is actually a political issue and based on misunderstanding. The task force insists that more than 200,000 women and girls were caught, sex slavery, uh, ex sexually uh, enslaved, and eventually killed by the Japanese army. But there is no evidence to support these claims. I submitted uh, files official documents titled uh, Truth of Comfort Woman Issue to the Council. Uh, it includes IWG a report showing no war criminal on this issue and US, U.S. Army report with no indication of being sexually enslaved as evidence against their claims. The plan of the statue installation has been kept secret and the city had no chance to hear the opinion of the other side, which is unfair to make decision and is against the human justice. I strongly request that the mayor and the city council members should reconsider and postpone uh, installation of comfort woman statue and stop it for the sake of human justice. This statue is issue happened at the Center of Civil and Human Rights in Atlanta three months ago. And they turned down the decision of installation of the statue. Consul General did not give any pressure or economical threat. What we did was showing the truth. I asked Mr. Kiango, CEO of the uh, center, for the help. But he only suggests that I should do the same thing as we did to the center. The message from him, I understand, is that truth is the source of human justice and will change the decision of the people who devote to the human rights. So please consider 
postpone the uh, ceremony and the reconsideration of the installation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Dale. Mayor, City Council, it's amazing how your life experiences bring you around eventually. Uh, I'm Dale Boone, 1684 North Druitt Hills Road. Back in the year of 1999, I had the great pleasure to be in Hawaii on December 4th. And on that day was the anniversary before the millennium when we all gathered at Pearl Harbor. And it was amazing because I met the commander of the Japanese army that invaded Pearl Harbor. It was an amazing, amazing event. At that time, there were no American soldiers. There were no Japanese soldiers. There were survivors. Survivors of a very drastic measure. And today, they do have statues and such things in Pearl Harbor. But we look at them as a thing of a time of the past, of a great World War, a World War II, with a lot of pain and suffering. And in Asia, which I have the right to speak on, I spend a good bit of time in Asia. Honor is the number one key thing in Asia. Honor is a very big name because it means everything to every single family. A family name with honor is incredible. We've come up onto an issue that has to do with two different countries. And we kind of request you to please take a step back, take a look at the sides of both the Japanese community and the Korean community. Because you know, I spent time in Pearl Harbor with the guys who actually fought in the war. It is now 2017. We don't look at each other as soldiers. We don't look at each other as enemies. We're survivors. Our countries have moved on. So we wish that this is a very insensitive thing. Please again, this is not American thinking. This is Asian thinking. It's completely different where honor stands out amongst everybody. So if you would, please take consideration how we can approach this in a manner so we can bring peace in the entire community. Thank you. Good evening, Mayor and Council. I'm Vicki Rusek with the law firm Smith Gambrell Russell. Um, I'm here to speak on a slightly lighter topic. Um, I'm here on behalf of Regency Centers, who owns and operates the Kroger Shopping Center um, at Cambridge Square. And I'm here to ask you to uh, please consider deferring resolution item number uh, 2764. Regency has engaged Wolverton Engineering to um, study this particular intersection. I think we can all agree that there are some pretty serious traffic problems that the city has actively been trying to address. Um, but I think we can do that in a more holistic manner. Uh, if you would just defer this resolution for um, a month to have sufficient time to receive the study and to review it and consider it. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Hey, my name is uh, Toshi Sumimoto and I live in Marera, Georgia and uh, I'd like to speak against the uh, Ombudsman statue. And uh, anyway, thank you, uh, very, uh, thank you for giving me an uh, opportunity to speak out about the uh, issue of com comfort woman. Uh, <clears throat> in early 20th century, you know, by early, during those period in, in history, there were so many uh, poor family who had uh, no other way to support their fa their family, and then they saw their, their daughter into the prostitution to support themselves and feed their family. In some instances, they, uh, they enter their houses themselves in order to support themselves. And uh, it's more realistic that uh, those vendors who recruit those uh, comfort women for business. 
and then and back then uh, in, in East Asia uh, was Sierra. It uh, comfort woman was uh, consist uh, approximately consist of forty percent of Japanese, thirty percent of uh, on-site recruitment, and twenty percent from uh, from Korea, uh, ten percent of Chinese and others like Taiwanese, Filipino, and Indonesia, and and my uh, my really concern is I wonder why comfort women from other regions, as other country, do not raise the voices. You know, if you have decided to uh, build a comfort woman here, you should leave all of the donations comfort woman start right here. That's going to be fair. And. Uh, Reason why they don't raise, raise the boss because they pay well. That's the reason. Yeah. Also, according to the record that time, it's, uh, those comfort women made uh, a, a, a dara, you know, it's a 300 uh, dara or more a month, while regular soldier made a 15 dara to 20 dara a month. And, and by the way, uh, Army General made a 550 dara a month. And in addition, the current money value, some of the comfort uh, women saved up, up, saved up about $400,000 to uh, $500,000 for, for three years. They, are, they made a lot of money out of this. Uh, anyway, this, in, regarding this, nobody's going to win by this. You know, it's only produced a hatred. And I think that the, this is not the local government issue, but uh, this is a diplomatic matter. Okay. Thank you so very please much. consider it. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Hello, Mayor and Council Members of Brookhaven. My name is Arata Tamula. I live in Alpharetta, Atlanta, and Downey for more than 20 years. I'm here to convey to you the issue of the statue for the Comfort Woman in Brookhaven. I would ask you that you turn down the plan. I have a total respect to both Korean and Japanese community. I literally live with Korean people. I'm a Japanese descendant, but I have a lot of friends in, from Korea. and had spent a lot of good times since I was high school. And Japanese people and some of my Korean friends are strongly opposed to the Comfort Moment Memorial because it will only create a conflict among people leading to hate crime and children bullying not only your city but elsewhere. I hear there is such a case in Glendale, California, New York, New Jersey, and even in Australia. And also there are many Japanese children who live in Brookhaven and in the city of Atlanta. I'm strongly against the installation of the Memorial of Comfort Women in a park in Brookhaven. The inscription of the memorial often depicts Comfort Women as hundreds of thousands of women and girls who are abducted and forcibly taken into sexual slavery by Japanese military during World War II. What are the evidence of primary source to prove these allegations? The governments of Japan officially denies above at UN Human Rights Committees stating the figure 200,000 persons as the number of comfort women also lacks concrete evidence. The expression sex slaves contradicts the facts and there are one-sided claim which lack any corroborative evidence in the report by the United Nations Special Rapporteurs, as well as in the criticism and recommendation from treaty bodies. I believe the monument will divide your multicultural good communities, and also it will drive a wedge among U.S., South Korea, and Japan alliance. And at the last, please imagine about the beautiful smile of the children in Atlanta, including Brookhaven. I have two sons, and they love this community, including Korean community. And I don't want them to suffer because of this statue and your, and hope that you will take a courageous step 
to turn down this plan. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. We're in the match. 3450 Wishery Court on a different subject of trees. Please allow me to thank the mayor and council for being so responsive to its citizens and businesses. We are truly fortunate to have a city so excellent. How fortunate we are to have such excellent members of the council, Lynn Lee Jones, John Park, Bates Madison and Joe Gebbia, and you, our Mayor Ernst, whose efforts combine synergistically to be greater as a whole than each one individually added together. It is a beautiful synergy that I have observed. At the zoning rewriting meeting last week, many people were greatly concerned at the rate the trees are being cut down in their neighborhoods and think that it will be too late for the trees if we wait until the zoning rewrite process is finished in a year. Therefore, on behalf of the Brookhaven Tree Preservation Committee and the many citizens concerned about our beautiful trees, as I know you are too, including the children, we respectfully request a moratorium on residential construction because we can't afford to lose as many trees as we have in the last year. Thank you. Have a lovely evening. Betsy? Thank you and good evening. I'm Betsy Eggers, 1408 Tugaloo Drive, representing the Peachtree Creek Greenway, Inc., Thank you, Mayor and Council, for the work you're doing to make the things happen that need to happen for building the Peachtree Creek Greenway. It requires many things, planning, funding, and the land to build it on. I'll shorten this because of the time crunch tonight and just say that the Peachtree Creek Greenway, Inc., and other people who are here tonight support the City of Brookhaven's use of eminent domain in this specific case before us tonight to determine a fair and equitable purchase price of the land at 1793 Briarwood Road in Brookhaven. Thank you so much. Thank you. Heidi? Uh, um, at this point, I heard it was two minutes. I'd like to extend it uh, nine minutes. Move to extend it by nine minutes. Second. Nine. Thank you. Well, I'll be Hi. short. Hi. So. <laughs> Hi. Good evening. My name is Heidi Underwood. Um, I live at 1420 Cortez Lane. It's in the garden, uh, Brookhaven Gardens uh, neighborhood, I guess District 3. Um, I'm a single mother of two children uh, who attend Ashford Park Elementary. And the reason I'm here is, as you can imagine, in support of Peachtree Creek Greenway, right? Um, it's very simple, right? So the, the Greenway... Um, the Greenway, what it's going to bring to our city is, is, is extremely important and just wanted to recognize the efforts of the council that you've put into making this a reality. So I wanted to thank you for that. On behalf of myself and others that are in the neighborhood, in the city, that have small children to provide us with the Greenway as a destination point. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Lisey Stallman, and I've lived uh, in beautiful Brookhaven for almost 34 years at 1789 Gardenside Court. Tomorrow's dedication of the Comfort Women statue represents the following. A horrific practice by a specific segment of a particular regime during a specific time in history. Also, the courage of the victims and survivors of this torture and anguish as well as the strong struggle of women worldwide throughout history to break free of enslavement, and the current fight to rid Metro Atlanta and other cities of the scourge of human trafficking, but particularly the valiant effort of Chief Yandora and Brookhaven's police forces ongoing education of our citizens and eradication of sex trafficking in our city. What the dedication of this statue does not represent is hostility towards any particular nation or nationality. 
a demand for any apology from anyone in any current government which was in no way responsible for this terrible time or association with any activity by any other government outside of the city of Brookhaven. I was present for a different agenda item during, uh, during uh, the evening which the Brookhaven City Council unanimously voted to accept this generous gift. Public comments were strictly geared towards honoring this, these women and girls. I do not recall any animosity mentioned by anyone towards any nationality. In 1988, after eight years of lobbying Congress, the Japanese American Citizens League achieved an apology and very small reparation for the horrific internment of over 100,000 Japanese Americans during World War II. I think many of us considered it to be too little too late, but perhaps it was simply meant as a symbol of admission and apology for the atrocities committed by the U.S. government on our own citizens some 40 years prior. Whatever is occurring in other cities, states, or nations, Brookhaven is asking no such apology from any government entity, only to honor women and girls who were victims 70 years ago and remind our citizens of the current crimes of which women are victims and need to eliminate these horrific situations. As a woman, I am passionate about the need to bring women worldwide out of the shadows into full equality. As a Jew, I was taught very young about the Holocaust and the meaning of the phrase, lest we forget. If we ignore the past, we are doomed to repeat it at some other time, in some other place, by some other perpetrators upon some other victims, or perhaps in our own backyards. Please accept this statue as a reminder of the struggles of women face now and our dire need for all citizens to participate with empathy and activism. Please hold your applause. Thank you. My name is Asako Takahashi, 1332 Tracy Valley Court, North Cross, Georgia. Hello, everyone. Uh, um, again, my name is Asako Takahashi. I live in Georgia for over 19 years, and I'm a mother of 8-year-old and 6-year-old. First of all, I'd like to say thank you for giving me the opportunity to express my concern over the installation of the Comfort Women statue in the public area in the city of Brookhaven. I strongly against the installation of the Comfort Women statue in the city of Brookhaven. I strongly oppose it because it will promote hate and discrimination against Japanese people. It is said that the statue will raise the awareness of women's human rights among people in Georgia. Georgia, it will not work that way. If you find about the background story of the model of the statue, I'm pretty sure you will hate Japanese people. If I were not Japanese, I would do the same thing. My son, my eight years old son, went to a pre-K in Brookhaven. I believe he was one of the few Asian kids in whole school, but everyone was so nice to us. If the city of Brookhaven had a comfort women's statue at that time, I never sent my kids to school located in the city of Brookhaven. In the city of Glendale in California, a comfort women statue has been installed. Since then, cases of severe bullying against Japanese children are reported. If the city of Brookhaven installed the comfort women statue, it is not hard to imagine that same things will happen here in Georgia. As a mother of eight years old and six years old, I will not accept the installation of the statue in public, in the public area in any cities in U.S. The statue is nothing but to promote hate 
and discrimination against Japanese people living in this diverse society. Please reconsider the, in the installation of the Comfort Women statue in the city of Brookhaven. I just want to protect my kids. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Susan, you had other people who didn't wish to speak, if you want Yes, I had five that did not wish to speak. Three uh, were expressing um, opposition of the statue, and two were um, applauding or in favor of the Peachtree Greenway and the things that the council are doing for that project. Thank you. Thank you very much. At this point, closing public comment. Moving 